Hey guys, this is Andy McCann here at Crossroad Garage in Woodstock, Georgia, trying to help you lay a firm foundation, fitness, food, and finances. And today we're going to talk a little finances and credit card fees. And I want you to help me help you help me help you. Okay, so we've had the same membership fee since 2022. So right now is May 15th, 2024. This podcast will probably come out in a month from now. And um, we've had the same rate, $175. You're a member or that, actually it's the only membership we really have. So you're a member. Everyone has unlimited. Come in as many times as you want. Please don't come in nine times a day because you'll like pee blood. Don't do that. But credit card fees. What you can do to help me help you help me help you is three things. One, back in October, I re-signed a lease because I couldn't find anywhere else to go, and we're still in this building. If in coming this October, we'll have another four more years on the lease. Essentially, they painted the building, sold it. Fixed the rent, sold it. <laughs> so now we've been painted and sold, painted and sold twice, and the new guys basically uh, doubled our rent. So what does that mean to you? Nothing really. I mean, I still, unfortunately, as much as I try to run this business as a business, I have to admit that it's a hobby um, and I might have to change some of the way I do things. But the reason I say that is I don't draw money off the gym. This is why we made it through COVID. This is why I make it through a lot of stuff. I use this because I'm healthy and fit. Wow, secret to the business. The owner doesn't take money off of it. That's like the normal thing for many owners. Why do I do this? Because I like to be helpful and I like to be healthy and fit. Maybe one day I'll change that and someone else can pick it up as their passion and change the way we do it. Um, I am an engineer, maybe not the best business owner. I've tried to hire mentors to help me. Sometimes it goes good, sometimes it goes bad. The one thing that I can't really affect is, hey, where do we put the gym and what is rent? So they doubled rent on us and I've kept the same um, rates and I'm trying not to change the rate. So credit card fees and how you can help me. Back in, I think January, maybe, any new member that came in, we just passed on credit card fees. I'm like, uh, we're just gonna let you know we're doing that. We're passing on fees. If you wanna use a credit card, there's a fee. It's whatever your credit card charges us, we just charge it back. So usually it's like eight bucks, something like that. You can attach your bank account to uh, through Wattify to the um, uh, to your your account through I think it's like Plaid or something like that. Anyway, you attach it and it's back in like when PayPal was first coming out. Everyone thought, oh no, they're gonna steal all your stuff. The year is 2024. This is just how you do it. If you do that, I think the fee is like four bucks, right? So what does that mean to you? Pro- not much, but just just paint this picture with me, okay? Let's say we have. I'm gonna use easy numbers because uh, math while I'm talking is not easy for me. So let's say we have a hundred members. They all charge a credit card. I'm paying the fee on that. That's a hundred times eight. That's $80, $800. See, I'm already blowing the math. $800 just for me to use a credit card. That's just industry standard. That's what they do, right? Um, multiply that by 12, <coughs> 12 months. I can't do that. Let's multiply it by 10 months. 800 becomes $8,000. So a little bit more than $8,000. So what is that? $9,600 is what I'm paying in credit card fees. I've been doing that for a very long time. No problem, except rent goes up and I'm looking to cut costs. Evan and I are doing some stuff to like pull things together. Danny and Jamie are doing some stuff to cut other expenses. We've actually done a pretty good job cutting expenses. Um, um, biggest thing back in October, if you remember, I had this idea, 125 by 425, that's 125 members by um, April 25th. That didn't really happen. So now we're gonna go the other route. Instead of adding some people, we're gonna cut some costs. No, keep bringing people. We're not in trouble, nobody's going out of business. I'm just trying to control stuff so that it doesn't get stupid and out of uh, pace. Yes, everything we buy and whatever has gone up in price, but I'm trying to hold on to that to not make it weird on y'all. So what you can do to help us save money. One, or save yourself money if you started back before past January or whatever. If you're using a credit card, they're gonna charge you or me eight bucks. If you're using ACH, so you've connected your account through Wattify, it's like four bucks. Or help me out in a big way and pass on the fees. Just tell me, yeah, you can pass them on, I'll pay for those. And then just change your card, to be like four bucks. If you wanna try something totally different, I don't know how to make it work yet. We could go, well, I could do this. You could go back to old school checks. You could write me a check every month, or you could write a bulk check and say, here's a check for the year, and then I'll cash it and then just, dull it out over time. I don't know how I'll come up with something, but back in the, when we first started doing this, we only took checks and well, we did some cash, but we took checks and it was so hard to deposit them. Now I can actually just take my phone and take a picture of it and deposit it. Or I can go to the bank with a stack of them and put it through the ATM and it's like, and it does them all. So checks are not actually a problem anymore. I just don't write checks. So I can't imagine out there who writes checks. I don't know who does that. You could pay with Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, and all those things, or Zelly, except I don't know how to attach that into Wattify, so it becomes kind of like an accounting thing for me. I have to be like, well, 
Okay, Timmy just paid, let me go mark that down, then I gotta go take the money and transfer it back. And so it just becomes work. And that's the convenience. They're like, hey, Mr. Business Owner, for eight bucks, we'll let you process a card. I'm like, yeah. Eight bucks per process? I don't know. And it keeps going up. So that's the problem is they always just kept, you know, it, it's like the um, the internet bill that I had. So we have Comcast. When I first signed up with, with them, it was $80 for a month. I just looked at the bill and they've inched me up over time because I just haven't been paying attention because it's an automatic payment. The last one was $160. So in four years, they've doubled my bill. I called them up and said, WTF? And they're like, yeah, so here's the deal. I'm like, no, no, let me say the magic words. AT&T came to me and said they can switch me um, and it's only gonna be 80 bucks. They're like, oh, you said the magic words. Um, Here's the contract for two more years at 80 bucks. So I signed it and we're back down to 80 bucks. So I don't know. It's just, that's how they play these games. And I hate those games. I don't have to do that. I have rental property. I have my own... uh, establishments were, were okay. I don't need the gym to like, I, I don't need to always pass on the cost. Yes, I want the business to be profitable and it is. And I want um, it to be like more than a hobby, but man, I hate it when everything just nickels and dimes and ups. So I don't do that. Sometimes to my detriment, but so here's what you can do for me. Go into the account. Actually, I probably had a point that I totally forgot, but this is what you can do. Go into your account. You can use your phone if you're on the app and you can um, switch it to from credit card to ACH. You're gonna save, it'll be half the amount. So instead of paying $96,000 or $9,600, that would drop my fees immediately to $4,800, yes. So that's a, that's a savings right there, right? And none of us had to do anything. We're just not paying the credit card guy. On the other side, just email me and say, yeah, you can pass on the fee to me. If you've been here for longer than, uh, like I said, January, maybe it was September when we changed that, um, let me know. So some of the older members, if you currently come here, Jamie's told you, hey, when you sign up, we're just passing on the fees. And um, uh, ACH, like I said, is cheaper. It's like four bucks. Credit card is uh, eight bucks, something like that. Everybody's cards are different. Uh, I think American Express is the worst, um, but they give you the best benefits and that's kind of how they just make us pay more. You could go cash. You could try one of the other options. You could go uh, check. Those things are fine. I don't, not a fan of, I mean, let me take that back. I love cash. Cash is king, but I just have a hard time like controlling cash. Like I, it's, um, my dad once told me when I went into sales, he's like, don't let your expense report dictate your character. I'm like, what does that mean? And I found out that many sales guys pad their expense report with shit that didn't happen. Sorry, stuff that didn't happen. <laughs> just because they can and nobody can really track it. They're like, yeah, it's five bucks of cash. Just write it down there. You don't need a receipt. So when cash is out there, I, sometimes it just finds its place to other places and we lose track of like wh- whose cash was that. I'm not saying that people steal it. I'm just saying I would lose track. Like, was it Timmy's money? Was it Sally's money? Or was it money that I just left here? Where did the money come from? Unless it's in an envelope with your name on it, I'm probably gonna mess it up. So cash, while I love it, I am an um, idiot with it and I probably do it wrong. Check, harder to do because it has your name on it. Just like I said, it was an envelope, great. So check has your name on it. Um, <laughs> I have rental property and I had a, a renter who um, him and his buddy rented the house and their main gig was parking cars for um, at top flight or something like that. And so they got a lot of ones in tips and they would pay me in rolls of ones and he would just leave it in his mailbox and tell me, and I'd have to swing by and pick it up. I'm like, listen, seriously, dude, don't do that. Anybody could reach their hand in your mailbox and steal like the rent. And I could be an, a, uh, an asshole and just be like, Oh, I never got it. You, it it's, <laughs> It's too hard not to control, like right? And this is why the government hates cash as well. They don't know what's going on. But <clears throat> just, I love cash, but it's just kind of weird and hard to manage and all that. Okay, so um, do me a favor. This will be a shorter podcast specifically on this idea of um, uh, credit cards. And if you have to, like, what is a credit card fee and what does it do? Um, these are some things. I just pulled it up real quick. It's credit card fees and what are they? And they, they list all of the credit card fees out. If you're watching the video, you can see it. If you're listening to the podcast, it's um, uh, interchange fee, assessment fee, transaction fee, late payment fee. That one actually kills me. I really hate this when um, somebody like, we don't have contracts. And if you cancel, but it was like a month too late, I, I usually will find a way to go back if I can. The credit card will let me. And like, yeah, they moved and they just forgot to tell us whatever, or you quit and you didn't tell me in time and we charged you. I'll try to see if their credit card will let me rebate you. And when it does, you think, oh, I paid 175 bucks. You give me 175 bucks back. No, I paid $8 in the transaction fee. And then I have to pay another eight bucks to get it back to you. So to get you back your $175 actually cost me 16 bucks. I, 
I know it's not a big deal, but when it happens year, time over time, year after year, it's just frustrating. All right, then there's annual fees. There's foreign transaction fees, which we don't have those. Um, cash advances, we don't have that. Balance transfers, we don't have that. But then the interest charges, right? So I think what I probably should have put, put in there is a vendor, 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 vendor credit card fees. And um, let its AI tell me what those vendor credit card fees are. Let's see more. I do love the fact that they start putting in their own AI to kind of like throw stuff down there. Yeah, so they got the intercharge, interchange fee, merchant service fee, assessment fee, monthly fee. So here's the funny one. Every time you swipe a card, no matter what you swipe, there is a fixed fee. And it's something like 30 cents to 60 cents. And then there's a percentage of whatever you charge. So this is the weird one. When you buy a dollar water for me, and you're like, Andy, you're making a killing on these water. No, <laughs> it's a dollar water. When you swipe your card, let's say it's the higher one. It's 60 cents just to swipe the card. Then it's like, you know, 5% of a dollar. So it's like, I don't know, let's call it 70 cents. So then there's 30 cents on the bottle of water. But a human, me, had to go out and get it, pay for it, bring it back, and put it in and shelve it, which I think my time is more than 30 cents multiplied across the uh, bottles in there. So technically, you could probably say I'm losing money on the water. So I think when I clicked and modify pass on fees, now everything that's bought that's not a uh, actual contract, or not contract, but a, an original membership uh, has those fees passed on. That's why if you notice and you look back, you're like, what is that? It's just me pushing back the credit card fees just to stop some of the charges. Again, if you want to make it cheaper, you switch to the ACH or help us out, be a total bro and say yes to support the gym. We will take on our own credit card fees. That would be spectacular. Um, okay, if you have questions on this, please let me know. Um, in October, our rate, uh, our rent goes up again. If enough people say, hey, I've switched, then cool, we're all good. If not enough people switched and did the thing and made it work, then I'm gonna go into Wattify and push the button and everyone's just gonna pay for their own credit card fees um, to get that, um, see if I can normalize the expense that way. Um, the rent is a pain in the ass. And without the building, we wouldn't have this. And I looked for a bunch of places to go and could never find a place that would fit. So I guess the other way you could help me is if you know of a place that's really close to where we're at that we can move to, we have four more years on this lease, which is great. We can make this work. But um, it's always an irritating thing. This is, you know, I am a landlord. I get it, right? I'm going to help. I'm going to pay for everything. But these guys, um, doubling the rent was tough. Weirdly, it's not that bad considering all the other like locations. So it's not out of whack. It's not like, hey, it's like $90 a square foot. I think it's like $13 a square foot or something like that. But um, <clears throat> it used to be like uh, like $6 a square foot. So the jump is what got me. I just wasn't ready for that expense. Um, the team has been working that over time and we're, we're normalizing it. But just help us out if you can. Um, if you love the gym and you love the community and you want to chip in, change to an ACH. If you want to chip in even more, click or email me back and say, yeah, go ahead and switch me over. Uh, I'll, I'll absorb my own fees or move to one of the other services. All right, guys. Love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for helping out. Finances. Go through your finances and see what subscriptions you still have because you probably don't need them.